Finally tonight, this little guy in a childhood pastime. Who doesn't remember searching for fossils as a kid, hoping you'd find something? But a dinosaur? Could it be true? Hi, David. Five-year-old Wiley Bryce reporting in tonight from Mansfield, Texas. It turns out a group of scientists is convinced he's made quite a discovery. This is where we found the first dinosaur bone. You heard him. That's where he found the dinosaur, he said. And that's Dad, Tim, right there with him today. They've been at this for months now. It all started with a trip outside near the local shopping center. Wiley looking around with his dad for bones, circling and circling, until it seems he made a real discovery. And his dad would know. He's a zookeeper at the Dallas Zoo. Basically, my son and I were out collecting fossils one day uh, near our house and some land that had been exposed. And he walked up ahead of me and came back with a big chunk of bone. So dad, with his connections at the zoo, teaming up with scientists at Southern Methodist University. Researchers say they've determined they were bones from a rare dinosaur they believe lived about 100 million years ago. And the more we excavated it, the we realized it was a dinosaur, probably one called Notosaur. A plant eater with small teeth walking on four feet, about the size of a horse. And just how does Wiley feel about all this? Happy. And why so happy? Because, uh... I've never found dinosaur bone before. Few of us have. Wiley holding on to his toy dinosaur tonight, while an entire community wonders, has he found a real one? Way to go, Wiley. And our thanks to the Dallas Morning News tonight. And thanks to you for watching on a Wednesday. I'm David Muir. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night.